Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from AR Media. In tonight's video, I wanna go over where is my movie collection? And I don't mean my physical collection, I mean my digital collection. Let's just get to it. So my digital collection is honestly where most of my movies is. Now I do love owning physical Blu-rays, uh, especially 4K as you guys know, but the thing is with a lot of the traditional um, Blu-rays and a lot of comedies where I'm not so obsessed with getting the best picture as I am convenient, I do digital. So I'll go over the obvious ones first. I get a lot of my movies from Netflix because I'm a big horror buff. They have a great selection of horror movies on Netflix. But, you know, I'm not really going to touch on that. Most of you guys know what Netflix is, but it's a great service. I have the 4K package for $12.99 a month. Where my main collection is is Vudu. Now, for those who are not aware, Vudu is a movie buying and collecting platform. And actually, every movie that you buy on Blu-ray or most movies, depending on the publisher, come with some called an ultraviolet code and now these ultraviolet codes are used to redeem movies on voodoo and voodoo collects all these movies and you could sort it by the date you purchased you could sort it by genre and it makes organizing your collection really really convenient and i just want to go over some really great features of voodoo that i use daily one is that it's compatible on all platforms so i have it on ios i have it on windows i have it on mac um, Android supports it and same thing with Roku and all the streaming services but the thing is that you could actually download to the devices so on my iPhone on my laptop I could download the movie straight to my device for as long as I want so I have terabytes filled up with all my voodoo movies um, all offline storage so it's not streaming at all it's very good quality and it's just a great feature especially you know I travel for business a lot and having all of my movies on my 256 gigabyte iPhone 7 plus is amazing for travel you always have your movie collection with you now I want to go into just digital because voodoo by itself is a great platform now every week on Tuesday like blu-rays they update what they have available, but they also update the deals. So they'll run crazy deals like Black Friday. You know, they'll have pretty much every movie on the site, uh, $4.99 owning. I mean, they'll do really crazy sales. I mean, I can't really get too much into it, but I've grown my collection fairly quickly, really buying titles for $4.99, $5.99, $6.99. Now, another thing I want to say about Voodoo is there's other ways to redeem codes because a lot of people buy the Blu-rays and sell the codes. So if you go to a website, ultravioletcinema.com, you can actually find the exact movie you're looking for on third-party sites that sell the codes. So you could usually get the newest movies of the week for like $7.99. If you wait a couple days, $4.99. And to me, that's an amazing price. Now, I do want to hit on you know, Cody boxes. I was, you know, a big fan of XBMC, which is what it was called before it was called Cody. You know, I've used it for years. I have Exodus installed on my shield and I do use it. But the problem is, I'm just going to be honest with you, the quality of these streams just is not good enough for a 4K TV. On my 4K OLED TV, these 1080 streams which I think are 720 just look like garbage and they ruin the movie for me um, for example I really wanted to watch the movie The Void and I couldn't find it so I was gonna go on streaming I watched about 10 minutes of it and I shut it off because I knew that okay this is gonna make me not like the movie because of the quality and it should never hinder the movie experience so I went on Voodoo, waited a couple days, bought it on Voodoo, enjoyed the film, and I found the first 10 minutes that I watched that I barely even remembered. Because as good as the picture you think you're getting on Cody, and I get that it's free and legal, but the thing is that for $4.99 to purchase a movie once and be able to watch it for the rest of your life and own it anywhere you are, whether you're in a different country or away or home or in your room or in your living room on every TV you have it, I just think it's worth it. I just wanted to share with you how I store my digital collection. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please throw me a thumbs up if you did. And down below, just... Ask me um, if you really want any more content, anything specific you want me to show you, and I'll be glad to make a video. Have a good night, guys.